Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks Navy, we're going to be doing a reaction video to the Battle Stations 21 video. And for those who don't know, Battle Stations is the final test for Navy Boot Camp or Navy Basic, as some branches like to remind me. Basically just outlining all the things that you learned in boot camp. This video is the like promotional video outlining some of the things that we do at Battle Stations. For those of you who are wondering what Battle Stations is all about, we're gonna be overlooking this video and I'm gonna be giving my own thoughts on it. So, let's take a look. The ship you are about to board. Oh yeah, Tin Can Life. Dedication to the Navy and to his fellow sailors. In 1911, he led mm. the very first division. This is like old school Navy, dude. This is like old, old Navy. They're almost trained kind of like the Army, in a way. Wow. Damn, that is that is a way different cover. Wow. He began as an enlisted sailor, led recruits as a chief petty officer, and ultimately rose to the rank of lieutenant. He's got a little bow tie? Is that what it looks like? It's insane. Rewarded with a Navy Cross in 1917. Giving this destroyer the name yep. USS as Traer. The Traer. The career of a man who laid the foundation for every sailor who graduates mm -hmm. from recruit training command. Mm-hmm. Yep. Many Navy warships bear the names of great naval heroes. These heroes and their accomplishments evoke our proud heritage of honor, courage, and commitment. Who ya? <laughs> Since oh man, look, that dude's this has got utilities on, dude. I, I never I never had to deal with utilities. Um I came in I think around the second or third cycle when they started doing end ups. So I never never got utilities. Wow. Yeah, Marlin Spike. <laughs> oh, we we fucked up Marlin Spike so bad, dude. It's basically like kind of the halfway point. Oh. So many knees on the deck. So many knees on deck. <laughs> oh, wow. We never did this. I think... I think this is like the old version of Battle Stations. Yeah, we, we never did this. So th this, must, this must be some old stuff right here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and then the swim test. Like, I still get questions about the swim test, and I, I really want to do a new video on it to kind of give you guys some updated info. Wow, look at those SCBAs. I don't even think they were called SCBAs. Jesus. Oh yeah, dealing with casualties. Yeah. Okay, yep. Uh, here we go, here's the new one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. God. <sighs> Dude, I was so nervous that night. Yeah. Tin can life, boy. Ugh. Man, I was so nervous that night, man. The pier is complete with a facade that replicates actual piers in Norfolk and Yorktown, Virginia. Yeah, and that, that was pretty crazy. Like, they, they put a lot of effort into making it, like, as realistic as possible. Um... Obviously, it's a lot cleaner than the uh, the real deal, and the P-ways are much wider. But uh, yeah, for a training simulator, this is it's pretty spot on. Oh man, utilities and the guard belt. We still had the guard belt when I was going through uh, going through boot basic, whatever. Consequences for their actions. Yeah. Cutting edge, multi sensory technology produces a state of the art simulation, while sophisticated systems allow for facilitators yep. to control each scenario with a wireless personal digital assistant. Yeah. Four divisions of sailors, a total of 352 recruits and their facilitators, will be able to move through the facility at one time for training that can be held every night of the year. Multiple events. Yeah, it's, it's nuts how many. Uh, 
uh, divisions they can go through, like, just like that. But it's a pretty long evolution, so... Oh, wow, they even had the white undershirts, dude. I don't think, I don't think we had those. I don't remember. I think, I think we still had the, the Navy undershirts. Yep, GQ. Get there. On hands, main battle stations. Tell quarters, missile. Unbound. Port side. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. Look how wide those P ways are, dude. That's insane. Yeah, oh man. We had uh, one, one of our guys, uh, Gregson. He, uh, he was in charge of this scenario, and he was. Uh, he's a good guy, but he, he just didn't. He was in over his head. So, put it that way. Yeah, he's in Jubilee patches. You know. Yep, moving magazines. <sighs> Had to do that a lot, being a part of weapons department. Not because of dam damage control reasons, but just to move shit, so, yeah. We got weapons department. <laughs> oh, yeah. The aggression. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you got trainers with you the whole time, so. Mm-hmm. And it's just insane, like, look, look at all this mash casualty stuff. It was so weird walking down that P-Way where it was all, like, fucked up and stuff. It was just so surreal to me. Recruits search through a collapsed mess deck and birthing area for their fallen shipmates. Mm -hmm. This scenario is made even more realistic because actual survivors of the USS Cole, who were stationed at Naval Station Great Lakes, had an input in the eventual scenario. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of curious if uh, they'll incorporate some of the stuff that happened on uh, the Fitz recently with uh, some of the newer stuff for battle stations. I'm kind of curious. General quarters sounding and teams being called away to their repair lockers. Yeah. Recruits donning protective gear and mm -hmm. the hoses while preparing to fight. <laughs> Relieve the nozzle man eye! <laughs> uh, bring back the memories, dude. Oh, yeah. The hot box. And then, then this one. Oh, my God. This. Oh, man. Look. Everybody's gonna say that they didn't cry during the the end when they got their navy ball caps. Everyone's gonna say, no, I was a man, I didn't cry. Everybody fucking cries, dude. Everybody cries. Like, I, I told myself, I'm not gonna cry. It's fucking stupid playing proud to be American and all this kind of stuff, but nah. I mean, I wasn't bawling, but you know, I still had like the tears come down. Once Proud to be American started playing, I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> I just start crying a little bit. And then, you know, one of my RDCs hand me the Navy ball caps. Like, thank you, Petty Officer. <laughs> yeah. Save lives and ships, and most importantly, it will send a better trained sailor. And utilities, though. So yeah, that was my reaction to the Battle Stations 21 video. Um, if you guys have any questions about Battle Stations, be sure to watch that video because uh, <laughs> it, it basically outlines pretty much everything you need to know for Battle Stations. Everything else is just kind of scenario by scenario, but they they lead you through it. And you know, if you paid attention at all during the eight weeks of boot camp or basic training, you'll be fine. It's actually probably the most fun you'll have in boot camp. So uh, be sure to have fun. And uh, with that said, guys, this is the Andy San. Sign up for now here at uh, Andy Talks Navy. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe, do all that fun YouTube -y stuff. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.